Okay, everyone, welcome to a scrapyard in somewhere in northern Minnesota. We've got 167 here, and we've cleaned out everything we can for some future movement. Uh, we'll just do a little walk through here, see what we got. We managed to uh, get all the bins and the parcel doors sealed down so that stuff doesn't go flying around once we eventually start moving it. Wish we had brought a power washer. This thing's gonna look a lot nicer once it's cleaned up a bit. And I think we got the piece there. I, uh, for the bumper, the fake bumper, that's, that's inside somewhere. And the front glass on this thing is all intact, which is amazing. Uh, the button to open the door is gone. I don't know how they did that. All right, let's take a look inside here. The uh, door opening handle is gone too. That'll be interesting. And all the mechanism for the curtain destination sign is gone behind this. The mirror's gone, the fan. Uh, they do have the original driver's light. That's kind of nice. And of course the sliding window. That seat's in pretty darn good condition. I just, I wish I'd brought some leather cleaner or something with me. Yeah, let's see, we got all the standard gauges and uh, looks like they changed the speedometer and they added, uh, let's see, they added a voltmeter. And the brake is off, so that'll be good when we try and move it. The old ICC brake is uh, kind of sticking out of the floor. I'm not quite sure why. And of course the old parcel racks down at the lower level are gone. Most of them are gone. Uh, the old lights and uh, smoke inhalers are still there. We got rid of some of the couches. Some of this RV stuff we couldn't get out without really doing some heavy duty stuff. So. Yeah, there's the uh, piece of the front bumper and another piece of trim. And we found the glass for the door. That was, that was nice. And of course, here is the mystery box in the upper left hand corner of the lower level. It's actually on the right side of the bus, but, and nobody knows what's behind that little case. Sure would like to find out someday. And the old bathroom. Started pulling out some of the old carpet, but uh, a lot of it's bolted on with the bathroom fixtures. It's got the original light. Yeah, we still got uh, the original light as you come in the door too. All right, send to the heights here. Yeah, these old bunks, couches, whatever they are, uh, they're all bolted on, so we're not going to have to take those off some later date. It'd be nice to clean out the old windshields. Yeah, left a little rose for atmosphere. Yeah, we got some bulkhead walls here that'll come out. I have no idea what this tank was. Probably a water tank. And that looks like a heater of some kind. Or, well, I don't know what that is because this looks like a little furnace. And the sink. Be ripping all that out. Here's the one. Uh, here's the one remaining parcel rack. Hopefully, we can find a few of those to put back in here, as well as some seats. 
There's the old stove and oven. I don't know what was there. And yeah, some more bulkhead material. There's the old fridge. Good as new. And the back. Got out most of the stuff except the ones mounted to the walls. And there's all kinds of crapola insulation and stuff. Oh, there's the original light for that middle seat. And all the flooring is still the way it was in the good old days. I'm assuming you can hear me with my mask on. If you can't, <laughs> I guess you can't tell me either, can you? And I think we've got maybe one piece of glass in a skylight that's left. I noticed too, we've got, I don't know if you can see that, but above the fridge, there's a vent. So that's a hole in the roof that will need patching. Yeah, this is the first spot I'd put in a chair, my favorite seat up here. And down we go. Is there anything I haven't shown that you want to see? Now is the time to type. You can see we got a fully functional scrapyard going on here. And that's why we want to get it out of here. I don't want one of these machines to even bump anything into here. That'll, that would not be good. And I love the old GMC clutch pedal. She's basically ready to roll. Be sure and check out the GoFundMe site to save the scenic cruiser as soon as we get enough. We can figure out how to get it out of here. All right. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for more pictures later. See ya.